Atlas, good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of light heavyweight action. Just the opening round of 12 scheduled for tonight's bout. Crusher's eye is now cut. That could be a real detriment. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Digging in with a left to the gut. The next generation snap by a right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Nice work on the right hand by Crusher. Crusher's left working well that time. Doing what you're doing. Ramirez is off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up, but he looks to be steady on his feet here. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. That is a huge headshot after blocking his opponent. Ramirez is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Left to the body. Able to lock in that target and bring it home well. One or two more of those, it'll be the end of the night. Keep going. Rusher's left, landing well. Keep working the body. Showing you some defense there with the block. Hey! Good block. Let's go! Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Three minutes gone by in this round. The next generation's got to find a way to land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Solid uppercut. Gets rid of that body shot. The next generation. 
Shin's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Parries that punch intended for the head. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Halfway through this round. Right hand by Ramirez. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Hey, kind of see that come in. Let's go. Great hook to the head that time. Final 10 seconds. And round three comes to an end. Crusher's up a round here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by Ramirez. Crusher's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Well timed by Crusher. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. He missed with that headshot. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. That's it! Missed the target with that hook. Beat him to the punch! The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. The next generation's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse, right now he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. And round four comes to an end. Ramirez's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. The next generation's not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Rusher's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly.
Unable to make an impact there by Ramirez. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. That's okay. Ramirez is hurt from that. Let's go. Put him away. And that's the end of round five. We hear about guys being calm and cool when the pressure's on. With that eye completely shut, the pressure is on. Yeah, this is where you're really ultimately being tested as a fighter, as a human being, as a man. Able to get rid of that one. Pace yourself. Double up your punches. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Crusher. That was not well targeted by Ramirez. Ramirez's opponent's probably looking at him right now saying, wow, you're not changing anything up. You know, he got to him moments ago. Now he's got the same style that he's looking at again. Yeah, but he got to him moments ago. Got to him one time. I think right now it's too early to all of a sudden throw everything out the window. But look for an adjustment if things don't change. If he can't get away from those punches, if he keeps having problems, he gets stunned again then you might have to look for a change. You might have to make a change if you're going to survive. Halfway through round six, solid right by Crusher. The next generation's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. Yep, yep. Crusher's putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. The next generation's movement is really helping him out, avoiding that punch. What a hook upstairs. Ramirez is hurt by a big shot. Can you believe that? If there were 30 more seconds in that round, I don't know that he survives. But now he gets the benefit of the 60-second break. Yeah, he gets the benefit, and he's got to show his experience now to kind of have a short memory. I know that sounds crazy, but forget about what happened and find a way to have confidence. Find something to hold on to going out for the next round. No, he missed that right. Solid. He goes up top and gets to him. Hammering the head. One, two, three, four, five. Ramirez is climbed back up from the canvas. May inspire him. The next generation's trying to find a way to survive the way he's... Oh, and there you go. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ramirez is back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Not much action as he just ties up. You got this one. Well off the mark by Crusher. Crusher's got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good. His defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Good. Good. 
He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. How about a return to sender with the left hand? This is a white cup. You're winning these fights. Teddy's scorecard through seven rounds. Crusher's in complete control. There's no other way to see it. What he needs to do now, I assume, is make sure that he does not get sloppy. Yeah, no gambling right now. We did some gambling. You know, if you're in the corner, you say, hey, look, guys, we did some gambling early on when we had to, and we got what we wanted. We got his respect. We got control of this fight. Now it's time to just stay with boxing 101. Good fundamentals, good defense. Take it home. look at the way he is right now Teddy Ramirez is breathing right through his mouth his mouth's wide open that's a telltale sign yeah he's spent I mean we know what he can do now it looks like he can't really throw punches look at that can he beat the count I don't think so here Teddy now I know where they got that saying falling like a sack of potatoes stopping this fight the next generation's a knockout victim he couldn't beat the count Crusher's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.